Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. Today my special guest is coming to us all the way from Australia and uh, has a really interesting story and a very inspiring story of how he went from such a really high profile and, and very well paying career um, to creating this whole new movement and um, and encouraging over a billion people around the world to uh, to meditate. So to share more about his journey and his story, please welcome Tom Cronin. How are you, Tom? Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks, Nelly. I'm, I'm very well, thanks. Awesome. Great to uh, to be chatting to you and see you again. Um, now, Thomas actually was on the show um, quite a while ago, actually. So for those people who haven't seen the previous show and are not familiar with your, your story and your journey, can you uh, tell us um, how you got from, from such a, an amazing and very high-profile career to, to what you're doing now? Yeah, it was quite a bit of a shift over time. I mean, I started out when I was 19 as a young punk off the streets in a money-broking industry, very similar story to Jordan Belfort. We actually started Jordan Belfort from Wolf of Wall Street in the very same year, 1987, we started our jobs. He was 22 and I was 19. And um, my, my life was very similar to his back then. You know, it was pretty crazy times. We were young, we paid a lot of money, and it was a very fast industry. And what happened over time was things got very out of balance for me. I really managed to get um, quite stressed and had well, you'd probably call a bit of a nervous breakdown, you know, a lot of anxiety, panic attacks, depression. And so I thought, you know, this is just not working for me. You know, doctors wanted me to do all this therapy and take lots of drugs, and I was kind of like, <laughs> that was the problem in the first place. And um, so I decided to look into meditation, and it really was just a transformational experience for me. I mean, I did research a number of different techniques, but there was one particular style of meditation that really was quite transformational. And from there, it was just like, how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? You know, I just, um, you know, I explored further and further down that space and into consciousness and spirituality and traveled to India and studied in Bali and, and eventually became a teacher. And I was teaching part-time while I was a broker. I actually went back into my career and had a 26-year career in finance and ended up um, just so drawn to it changing people's lives, what I was seeing with my life and other people's lives that I was teaching that I ended up just saying that this is something I have to do full time and that's when I decided to to walk away from a half million dollar salary in finance and start teaching people how to meditate full time across the world through um, the Stillness Project. So you obviously incorporating your you know meditative uh, process uh, through while you were still working in, in finance. So how did that change the way that you viewed your job and how did your health, you know, change as a result of that? Yeah, it was really interesting. Um, you know, I went from, and the industry was really, back then in the 80s and 90s, it was really built on, you know, partying and, and going hard. And I was really challenged with how I was going to merge these two worlds. You know, here I'm a, a non-drinking, non-drug-taking, meditating broker that was just like, you know, someone that was alien to the rest of the industry. Um, but what I found was I brought a whole new paradigm to the industry, a whole new model that was um, rather than taking clients to, you know, all crazy sort of bars, we won't go into too much detail, but, um, you know, rather than doing that, why don't we take them and their wives to the opera or, you know, go to a yoga um, retreat and go surfing up in Byron Bay. So I just had a very different approach to how I related to those clients and in the end, I think that led to a great deal of my success was just that I brought a new model to the industry and um, yeah, it was all about sustainability and representing something that was inspirational. Yeah, absolutely. I know, well, uh, the 90s was when Glenn and I owned a nightclub in Sydney, so I'm <laughs> yeah. sure that uh, <laughs> some I'm of the sure I was there. Kind of yeah. ended up there as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure we put our credit card behind the bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so how was I? Just want to ask you, a, like, a, a bit of a personal question. Like, how did you? Um, did you feel like there was a, um, like, a disconnect or a bit of a conflict between your career and then what you were teaching on the side? Yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me about that because they sort of see these two worlds as making money and spirituality as this sort of antithesis of each other. And actual fact, what I teach is a very integrative, holistic and you'd almost say tantric, and when we say tantric, we kind of immediately think of sex, but it is a tantric um, meditation practice that I teach, and that's one that's all-inclusive. So tantra itself is an all-inclusive understanding about reality, that nothing is good or bad, everything's just cause and effect. And money itself isn't bad, and making money isn't bad. It's what we do with it and how we go about making it that's the important part. Um, 
And so it really is about reaching maximum potential. What I teach with meditation is that this is not about renouncing the world so that you can find inner peace. This is about reaching your maximum potential, having creative um, expression, um, you know, doing great things on the planet, using the money that you make to build water wells in Africa or build schools in Kenya. And, you know, it was really about um, changing that model of spirituality and meditation, and that's what I bring, is a very integrative worldly view about meditation and, and what you can experience through daily meditation practices. Great. Okay, so what is your meditation practice and what do you, you know, what do you recommend for people? Yeah, you know, there's so many different ways of meditating. It could be walking, it could be swimming, it could be singing in a cave, meditating for 10 hours a day. Um, so what I've been practicing for 20 years and what I found really was transformational for me was a, a transcending style of meditation where you use a particular mantra. Um, and there are many different mantras, but the mantras we use for these meditations are specific mantras that they're called beige mantras, and they, they, they quiet the mind down into a place where eventually the mind will transcend, that is, go beyond thinking. It will let go of the mantra and let go of thinking altogether because it's found something more charming, and that's that sweet, blissful nectar that it finds when it immerses itself in what we call pure consciousness, where the mind becomes still. So it's different from contemplation meditations where you're contemplating an idea or intention setting or having affirmations, that's still thinking and they're still very powerful, but it's still in that realm of thought. Um, concentration meditations are about using force to still the mind and they can take quite a long time because in our lifestyle, our mind is conditioned to be very, very active um, and for reasons being we need it to be. And um, with the transcending style meditations, I've found that I can get into them quite deeply, quite quickly. So 20 minutes morning, 20 minutes afternoon, I sit in a chair, close my eyes, I repeat my mantra or stillness sound, and I just experience a very nice gentle restfulness. And sometimes I would actually go into what we call delta brainwave state, which is a deep transcendence where the mind becomes still. So it's very simple, very accessible. You know, I do it on buses, I do it on in parked cars, I do it in boardrooms, I do it in churches. Uh, I've done it in public toilets, you know, wherever I can sit and close my eyes for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, this morning I was down the beach, um, did one there. So, you know, it's just a very easy and accessible practice that I can do. Cool. And so I know that you've been working with uh, with quite a few people and you do, you know, classes and workshops and things. Mm -hmm. um, share some of the, like, is, some stories of people that you've worked with that you've seen, like, in a really amazing change in. Yeah, you know, it just never ceases to amaze me from, you know, mums and dads and school kids and, you know, high-profile CEOs. So I've worked with some of the top CEOs in Australia of some major, um, you know, insurance companies and funds and um, radio stations and, uh, you know, it's constant how many beautiful stories come out of these. I mean, I'll share one lovely story of a lovely German lady that came on our retreat. Um, we're running a retreat in Hawaii in a couple of weeks and we do two retreats a year one in Bali, one in Hawaii, and this German lady, she was the mother-in-law of one of the people coming on the train. She thought she was coming to read books and sit by the pool. She had no idea about meditating. She was 75 years old, lived in post-war Germany, and she just came down and I said, well, this is the program I'm going to put you on. I want you to do just a little bit of gentle yoga and we're going to do some meditation. And she was like, oh, I don't know about this. This is not for me. And um, the first night um, she did the program and then the next morning she came in and her eyes were bloodshot red and, you know, she looked a wreck, I must admit. I'm like, Mommy, how did you go? And, you know, how are you feeling? She goes, I didn't sleep all night. I have not slept. I cried the whole night. I'm like, wow, that's pretty intense. Okay, we'll see how you go the next day. Just keep doing the program and we'll get through this. Next morning she came in and she goes, I didn't sleep again. I've just been crying the whole night. And I'm like, okay, we'll keep going with the program because we're releasing a lot of sadness here. There's a lot of sadness that you're holding into your body that needs to come out. By the third morning, she came in and she was beaming. Her eyes were clear and she said, I slept all night. It was amazing. And it was incredible to see this woman go through just a few days of transformation. And by the end of it, and you can see her on our retreat um, video that's on our, um, on, our, on our homepage, Stillness Project. And she said, you know, for the first time in my life, I live without depression and I feel like a butterfly. It set me free. And I see that time and time again where it just transforms people's lives literally within days and it's just a wonderful thing. And I've seen that with, you know, top CEOs. You know, I had a, a gentleman that was running a hotel chain in Africa and, um, you know, for him to, to learn this meditation, 
within days, he'd completely turned his life around and, um, and, and made an incredible change. It was just wonderful to see how much it does um, really affect people's lives. So what As do you did mine. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think is the catalyst as to why this happens? Like you think so what you sit down and meditate for twenty minutes and you change your life, like why does it why why does that transformation happen for them? Yeah, that's a really good question because you know, we think of meditation as like, oh, you're becoming spiritually awakened. It's really what I teach is that this is about your physiology more than anything else. This is as much about your body. Because your body is the thing that's holding all the stresses in it that's it's impeding your ability to feel the bliss, to feel the joy, to feel the love. Your ability to feel love and joy and bliss, it's always there in your physiology. It's just that our bodies are so distorted from fatigue and stored stresses that in Sanskrit it's called samskaras. It's where we get our English word scar. And a samskara is it's a stress or an imprint from a previous experience that's held within the body. And these create these sort of distortions. And in meditation what happens is that when the mind becomes quiet, metabolically, as your body is a printout of your mind, your physiology drops into a state of rest that's about four times deeper than sleep in some meditation practices. That's in gamma and delta brainwave frequency. When the mind is that still, your body being awake and alert and conscious, yet not having thoughts, is metabolically in such a state of rest that that's where it activates that healing process. And we have this wonderful intelligence within our body down to the cellular level where it knows how to heal, it knows how to operate at the highest level, it knows how to reorganize itself given the appropriate environment. And meditation is the one space that can get deep enough in that metabolic state of rest that activates that healing process. So for me personally, classic story, I had clinically diagnosed uh, depression, uh, panic attacks, anxiety, insomnia, and eventually I developed agoraphobia, that is I couldn't leave the house. So they wanted me to go to the top therapists and take antidepressants and all sorts of things. And I decided not to do that. I thought that there was another way. And I started doing this meditation technique, just 20 minutes morning, 20 minutes afternoon. That's all I did. Nothing else, no therapy, no drugs. And literally within weeks, all of that anxiety, all the depression, all the insomnia, it just simply dissolved away. And my body regained itself back to its natural state. And then it actually went further. It went a whole lot further. So not only did I remove the anomalies of depression, anxiety, insomnia, which is just extreme imbalances and distortions, what it did was it then it got back to middle once it removed those and then it took the leap forward into having extreme levels of joy and bliss and love and creativity and that's something that we don't want to just get back to, hey, here I am back at average and feeling okay. It's like you can go and have it all. You can get to the ultimate and that's what we'd ultimately call possibly enlightenment. Yeah, awesome. And, and it's such an amazing movement that you've started and I know that uh, you've also been working on a film as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the movement's um, the Stillness Project and that's really about inspiring a billion people to meditate daily. We don't want to just inspire them to meditate, we want to give them the tools to actually learn how to do that. So e-meditation courses is a really big part of that program. Um, we're offering a number of different meditation styles and techniques that people can access and having the tools to access Meditation is a really big part of the Stillness Project rather than just inspiration alone. Um, you know, we had an email from someone in Archipelago, north of Finland the other day that said, you've changed my life, you've taught me to meditate, which is just wonderful to hear. Um, and then part of that is also a film <clears throat> that we're, we're, we're making at the moment. We're working with Drew Harriet, who directed The Secret, and we've got a, a wonderful um, production crew that we're putting together, something truly magnificent. So can't tell you too much about that, but it will be all about incredible unlocked human potential and that's going to come out soon and we're very, very excited about um, how that's starting to shape. I know. I'm very excited about it as well. I always mm. love it just to see Aussies get up there and do it, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Um, all right, Tom, well, we've run out of time. It's been, been awesome having you on the show today. So it's been a pleasure being we here. To find, yeah, we want to, to find out about you, connect with you, uh, find out about you know your, your programs and everything. Where can we send them? I think we just sent them to the the, uh, the link here that's on the page and um, they can learn how to access these meditation programs and really not just remove the anomalies in their life but to actually experience the true magnificence and the rapturous beauty of who they are by tapping into the, the, the exquisiteness in that stillness that they can get through meditation. So I think the best thing would be just for them to go to the link that's on the page and that will take them straight through there. Awesome. And guys, remember, if you click on the banner, you'll go straight through to Tom's website from there. So thanks again, Tom. It's been awesome chatting to you today. Pleasure. It's great to be here. Thanks, Natalie.
Awesome. Now, guys, I encourage you to share this video and the information in it. You can do that by clicking the Facebook and the Twitter share buttons on this page. Uh, also, make sure you download the app so you can watch the shows on the go. And leave your email in the box on this page because I would love to send you the Manifesting with a Master's video e-course. It's actually valued at $87 and I would love to send it to you for free. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously and love without limits. We'll see you soon.